why you should not hodl crypto, especially after this bull market. Now, if you're new to me or you're new in the crypto space, maybe this is your first bull market, maybe you just bought crypto a couple months ago, you're new in the space, you're in the right place. Okay, you watching this video right now, you are in the right place. And I'm explaining why you should not hodl, which if you didn't know, is basically holding on for your dear life um, on your investments in the crypto space. Um, I'm gonna explain why you should you shouldn't. Okay, this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. But you need to understand that cryptos are completely different from stocks. A lot of people don't understand that that come from the stock market or other investments. They come into the crypto space. They think cryptos are like stocks where they can buy it and hold it, you know, for three, five, ten years, like the S and P five hundred. Right, like that's that's the mentality a lot of times when new beginners come into crypto. But what you got to understand is that cryptos are not like stocks because they're kind of like commodities. They have cycles where with huge, huge drops, very volatile. And the thing is, we're so early in crypto that a lot of these cryptos don't even survive for the next cycles. So, what is the point of hodling if? you're going to have an 80% plus drop. And the thing is, guys, all, all coins, all, all, even Bitcoin, have 80% plus drops after the bull market. Why would you, even if you, have a, even if you had 100 bucks, why would you want to watch that go down 80% plus? There is no reason to hodl, right? Only if, may, the only exception is Bitcoin, if you're hodling that, maybe you're not the best trader or active trader and you're just hodling that for years and years and years, that's the only exception right now. That's And that's how early we are in the crypto space to the fact that Bitcoin is the only one that we're certain on that you can hodl for years and years and years to come. Not even Ethereum yet. Not even Solana. Because everything is so early and new that everything's developing. We, you know, It's still integrating with the real world. Only 5% of people in the world are investing in crypto so this is extremely early which has a lot of risk but hodling in my opinion is is just very irresponsible after the bull market when we have euphoria and greed if you spot euphoria and greed and you spot retail fully in the market you should be taking profits very very soon and not hodling. It's not like, oh, I took 100% of all my profits, but I'm buying in next week or something, right? That, it's not like that. Once you take profits, you want you don't want to enter the crypto market again until we have the next bear market, which you will know when the next bear market is. We're going to have big drops. So it's completely different from this. It's a complete different monster from stocks where stocks are less volatile, but over time, you know, I guess the majority of stocks, uh, especially like the S&P 500, it's always going up, right? Look at the S&P 500. It's always going up. Apple, it's always going up. Yes, we have drops, but it's always, it's been trending up for multi, multi years. And a lot of altcoins are not like that, guys. Every single cycle, it's funneling out all the crap, garbage altcoins. And a lot of them... There's a stat out there that says 90% of all coins do not break all-time highs again on its second cycle. Meaning if they if it broke all-time highs in 2021, 90% chance that it won't come in this bull market. That's what happened last last bull market. XRP is a great example. Um, you know, it didn't break all-time highs from 2017 in 2021 now we know it had the sec problem and everything but it wasn't just xrp it was iota it was i believe xlm right there was a bunch of altcoins that did not break all-time highs from 2017 and that will repeat again coming this bull market because like i said cryptos are not like stocks this is not this is not like the s p 500 now, I do believe there will be a point in the future where cryptos will be similar to stocks, less volatile, and, you know, not these crazy sharp dips, 80% in the bear market. But I believe that's far out. That might take one more or two, even two more cycles. 
The reason why is because for it to get to that point, it needs to, a lot of altcoins need to go to zero. A lot of altcoins, garbage altcoins will go to zero and we will have clarity on where, what altcoins, what projects are the clear winners that are integrated in the real world with partnerships and are actually, have actual utility. You see what I'm saying? Once it gets to that point, those altcoins will not have 80% sharp drops again. So you might think like, oh, maybe I'm holding one of those coins. Well, like I said, I believe that's going to be at least two cycles out. So if maybe you are holding, maybe it's Ethereum, maybe you are holding Ethereum. Either way, Ethereum is going to have a 50%, maybe even 80% drop again. Even if that, even if that coin is a winner. You see what I'm saying? And as time goes on and it becomes clear that Ethereum is a winner long term, then you can hold it more, but not, not at least this cycle. Because we are so early, guys. I just want to put that in your mind that we are just so early. We're just so early in the crypto space. Bitcoin is the only one that is worth hodling. And that term came from Bitcoin, by the way. And over time, influencers started saying it for you know meme coins and other coins but that hodling came from bitcoin in the in the early days as it started to grow up go up and up and up it was not you know for all coins so i hope this kind of opens your mind because you know even myself i came from the stock market and i came in crypto and i you know i thought cryptos are like stocks but they're not they're not like stocks. It's a completely different monster. It's not like the S&P 500. This is still, still so early. And you want to be an active. When I say, when I say active trader, I don't mean a day trader. What I mean by that is that you want to actively look at your investments in the crypto space and sell. Sell 100% near the euphoria stage euphoric stage and then buy a good amount near the bear market which which coins you believe will sur um, survive for the next cycle grow up the next cycle that's an active investor an active trader doesn't mean you have to trade every single day but you have to it's not like like i said the stock market you just buy automatically automatically you're not looking every couple three or four years you see what i'm saying it's not like, you know, a Roth IRA or uh, that, like I said, the S&P 500. So it's completely different, but I just wanted to open you guys' minds because a lot of people don't understand this, believe it or not. So um, comment below what you guys think. Uh, like, join the free Telegram, Cryptopolis. We have over 500 people. It's 100% for free, no tears. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.